This is Allison from My Space to Craft. And look what I have. I'm so excited. This is the first time I've ever purchased an Echo Park mystery box. So in the past, I shopped their warehouse sales and they have fantastic deals on um, their products. You can get their collection kits for $7.50 each and just super good deal. So I usually spend my limit um, on their warehouse sale and then I don't do the um, mystery box because I've probably bought most of what's going to appear in the mystery box. But this time I skipped the um, warehouse sale so that I could do a mystery box just to see what comes in it. So, and I've learned to cover my address. I didn't do that last time. I'm a rookie, still working on it. Anyway, so I have cut the tape. That's all I've done. I haven't peeked nothing. So let's open it up and see what's what. All right. So hopefully everybody can see this. A daily calendar and a, tra oh, traveler's notebook daily calendar. Looks like this would work for a Disney trip. Let's see. So two notebooks. Oh, that's fun. And it looks like it's laid out to cover a month. You know what I might do? I've got a really busy March coming up and I've never used, I journal on my phone right now a little bit. I've always, st I've started a journal and never finished a journal. Um, but I have several trips coming up in March. Um, and so I might use this and I'll probably use this one. Um, the first trip is to, um, Las Vegas to visit a friend, not really gambling, but just visiting a friend and we'll see a show and I'm sure we'll go to a local casino a little bit. And then I'm going to Portugal with my mom. So I think if I do this, I'm gonna try it. And maybe I'll, I'll do some prep work in here before I go. So, and then I'm sure, I'm trying to book a, a little trip to Disney so this looks like Disney to me. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do this for our next trip. Or the trip we're taking in the summer, which is gonna be about three weeks um, in Europe. So I might use that for this. All right, that's fun. Um, paper petals. Wow, 10 inch diameter. And it's pink. Aw. 10 inch diameter, so it's gonna be about that big. So what I might do, I think, is make this and give it to my daughter to put on her wall. I'll soften the edges a little bit with some ink before I assemble it. Cool. Something I would not really purchase, but it's fun to have and I'm gonna do something with it. All right, these are enamel dots from My Favorite Things. I may have something from that kit. Um, it's a Mary Poppins inspired kit. I do have one Mary Poppins. Oh no, I have Practically Perfect in every way, that kit. But those are some good colors. I do like, this is Cartabella. I do like their uh, enamel dots. All right, what's next? A six by six paper pad. This is very useful. We do a lot of beach vacations. This is called Sea Life. So let me get my scissors. Let's see what we have. So the fun thing about um, even these six by six paper pads is you get some pretty good size 
um, cards that you can cut out. Oh, look at the fun stars. So these make great mats or if you're going to do a grid design. So green turtles, great for a Hawaii trip if you've seen the turtles there. Blue, tone on tone blue stars, a pretty busy seascape. But the, and the backside is red with some dark, some gray or blue ovals. Some nice size, what, probably two by two um, cutouts. Those are really cute. Great for clustering. Ooh, a really useful polka dot, multicolor polka dot. Sharks. I have done a couple of scuba dives with sharks, so maybe I'll have to pull those pictures out. A real pretty green. It's a little bit like, um, what is it? The sea algae uh, kelp fields. Stingray, or yeah, stingrays and other little critters. That's a nice scale. Sand dollars and sea biscuits on here in yellow. That's a pretty color, kind of a mustardy yellow. Some more cut aparts. You're my favorite weirdos. I like that. You're my favorite weirdo. That may have to go, that would be a cute card too. A real pretty tealy green. More fishies. Great for a scuba diving page. Bubbles. Jellyfish. My daughter just had a project. She's taking aquatic science and she just had to make a big model of a jellyfish. And it looked so good, y'all. We used our my crafty stuff. She went and bought new stuff, but I mean, we hot glued this model together, but I didn't get a picture of it before she turned it in. I'm so disappointed. I really wanted a picture of that. And then I could put it on there. Ooh, that's real pretty water um, print. I don't know if you can see that. Make a wish upon a star, uh, make a wish on a starfish. That's cute. Have Having oceans of fun. Be wild and free just like the sea. That's cute. Those are some cute cut aparts. Nice red and white striped orcas. Wow. I can think of so many photo opportunities that we've had um, that would go with this kit. Maybe I need to get the larger page kit. Some little um, orange, tone on tone orange. That's a fun um, coral picture. Ooh, sort of schooling fish with light coming out of it. That's really pretty. You are totally amazing. Take a bite out of life. Some of these would make some really cute cards. And it looks like we start again. I love that. I love that. I'm gonna have to look and see if I can get some ephemera and stuff like that to go with that. All right, let's look at this one. This is from Dream Big Little Girl, um, which I do not have anything from, but the Adhesive Brads, which I love, and that's a great little sentiment. Um, this color way looks like it would go with a lot of the um, Felicity Jane stuff that I have. So I need to look at that. This is here, there, and everywhere sticker book. And by the way, I paid $50 for this whole box. Um, so if all you have to spend is $50 and you're particular about what you get, then I would suggest shopping a warehouse sale for, um, and this one is Cartabella. So let's take a look. These are fun, some banner pieces. 
Oh, a little love bug. My mom, we had love bugs. We didn't have a yellow love bug. We had a we had a bright orange one and a blue one when I was little. These are really cute. The bicycle is cute. Very useful for just sort of general life pages. Ooh, that's pretty. It says Dreamer. Hello. Those are some good titles. Dream big. Oh, that's cute. Happy. More banners. Some little one by one punches or stickers. Really cute. Some word phrases. Some nice scalloped circles. These are really nice. Oh, and these flags, ban banners, are really cute. Easy to use. Oh, some numbers. So this might be really cute. And it goes through 31. So this, this might be really, really cute to make, um, use on a calendar page. I may have to do that. And it has some ampersands and punctuation. Ooh, that's a pretty blue for um, letter stickers. And then it starts again. That is a great here, there, and everywhere. I really like those uh, number stickers. I'm going to try and make a um, one of my calendar pages for for next year on there. This is chipboard frames. I've never bought chipboard frames um, for a kit, and this is fall. I do have a couple of their fall kits, though, so this will come in handy. These are great if you wanna do shaker pockets um, or put a small picture in there. So pretty useful, and then inside it, I like that they make use of it so it's not just the frames. You also get some chipboard ephemera, so that's cool. All right, more chipboard. This is chipboard phrases from Little Dreamer, which is more boy related, but um, but that's okay. I can still use. I can't. I'm not going to be able to use the Little Man Cave. I might have to give that one or Little Dude. Probably I can't use that. But some of this other stuff. Let your dreams take flight um, for an air show that we have nearby or any of my NASA stuff I can use. And then just general, some of this would go for red, white, and blue, just school pages, things like that. So I can still use most of that. I may find somebody with boys though to give some of that away too. Oh, it's Easter time. And this is my favorite Easter. Um, so some really cute Easter chipboards, um, florals, banners, happy Easter, hip hip hooray, happy Easter, bunny, cute. All right, this is one that I probably can't use very much of. Um, it's, it's a boy. Um, cribs and stuff. I'm done with my daughter's baby album, so this is probably a, something that I need to pass on to somebody who's working on baby albums. Oh, this is exciting. I have this uh, collection kit, Mermaid Dreams. In fact, I there is a video on a page layout that I did for my daughter when she was dressed in her a mermaid costume, and I that was the title of it, but I did it off the sticker sheet. And so this is really cute to have, because I have several, I have the ephemera and a lot of the paper left, and so these are gonna go great with that. Cool. All right, this looks like it's kind of wedding-y. Let's see. These are already die cut for you. That's really nice. It's beautiful paper. Wedding Bells Ephemera. 
Oh, so maybe this is how the ephemera is made and they just gave us the sheets before and not popped them out and put them in the little sleeves. Love story, congratulations. I'll be able to do this for like a wedding that I attend since um, I'm kind of done with that. It's really pretty. But there's also a lot of stuff in here that you can just use in general. Well, not a lot, but some. All right, that's really pretty. Wow, so this is like getting a whole bunch of ephemera packs. All right, that's it. All right, this is I Love Fall ephemera pack. Really cute. And I think what I'll probably do is go ahead and pop these out. Otherwise, they can pop out on their own and you lose them. Pumpkin spice makes everything nice. Happy fall, y'all. I live in Texas, so that works for us. Like I said, I do have several. Um, I don't think I have I love fall, but I do have several other fall packs from um, Echo Park. So this will come in handy. Really cute. Ooh, I don't have this one. This is the Be Happy. I do have some other bee-related stuff, and really, you can just use this yellow, or um, I have a I have hexagon uh, die cuts, and even a hexagon stamp, I think. So, you can make your own paper to go along with this. Think happy, be happy, that's cute. You are the bee's knees. Be sweet. Very cute. I need to make some cute B pages, I think. This is from Winterland, and this is Frames and Tags. So, really cute. Hello, Winter. It's kind of this soft, it's not quite black. It's um, like a really dark gray. So no actual black in here, it's really pretty. Winter wishes, I don't do a lot of snow pictures, but um, we did go skiing a couple years when she was little. Um, so I just will need to use these for that. I need to get to those pages, but that's really cute. All right, so that's one, two, three, four ephemera kits, essentially. All right, so I have sped this next section up because I took quite a while going through all these paper pads. I think next time I'll, we'll just look at the, at the colors and, and the sticker sheets and not go through each um, paper, um, but I figured you guys didn't want to spend an hour on my unboxing, so I've shortened it a little by speeding this up. This... Um, Christmas Flora Joy um, paper pack was really cute. I loved the cut aparts. The colors are, are good. Um, some are traditional Christmas, but the, it also had this golden yellow in it. And then some of these florals just don't seem that um, like they would have to be Christmas, but they're really cute. Um, so that's the B side. This is the B side of the cut aparts. So you can see this. I, I, I was entirely too slow. I apologize. It's another rookie, rookie mistake. I'll have to go faster on my next unboxing. It didn't seem like that long when I was doing it. I was so excited to see everything. This plaid was great. Reminds me of a mattress print when we used to wear mattress print shirts. Showing my age there. So you can see that the, the B sides are, are more traditional Christmas, but then the A sides are these pretty florals. This one has little spruce trees on it. And the sticker sheet. 
The next one is Our Travel Adventure, which I do have some um, of the ephemera from this. And I was thinking I had a, a six by six paper pad, but then I, I couldn't find it. But I definitely have the ephemera. And I've used it for a page that I did. Uh, I used a few pieces of it um, for an air show. So this, this paper kit has lots of airplanes in it. Um, it would be a good masculine kit. <clears throat> or just travel as it said so um, there's some fun um, cut aparts on here little airplanes in a in in rows these are some fun stamps I love the airmail stripes. Thinking about using that as a <clears throat> background frame on a page. A map paper. Some different travel icons on this page. These are some great old fashioned um, like travel posters and then the back side had some um, compass roses. Here's some more um, icons that would be easy to cut apart and a really nice blue and white stripe. Some more travel icons. This would be really busy as a base page, but great cutouts. But then the words on the back side. This is a great base page. I love this one. Could just add some color to it using some inks. Some more great cut aparts. There's some great ones on here. And a ledger. That's really disappointing to have the ledger that would make a great base page, but then you lose all those great cut aparts on the other side. So that's tough. And you only get one of each in these kits. This one's Cartabella, I think. Nice uh, navy blue or uh, marine blue on there. And then the, the strips, the border cut aparts. So that's pretty cool. Some nice border pieces. And uh, cameras on the back side. There's some more airplanes. Be fun to do in a strip and then a nice B side. This one looks really busy from a distance but it had lots of little words on it. So there would be some opportunity to um, do cut aparts and make your own ephemera from it, from it. And then this is the sticker page. So lots of fun. I love the stacked um, suitcases on there. So I actually, I got, I think it was five um, collection kits in here and just that is $37.50 so if you add the uh, at the warehouse sale price not even the normal price so I think this was very much worth it but I am interested to know if you guys would pay $50 um, for a mystery kit and not know what you are getting I love the colors in this these dark teals mm -hmm. and the grays it's a really beautiful kit. I wish we got more snow here in Texas so that I could do more snow related pages. We have gone skiing a couple of times when Reese was little, but it's been a while. She's really wanting to go back. We just 
haven't really found the the opportunity recently and it's so expensive when you only go occasionally you have to buy all new gear and renting skis and ski passes have gotten really expensive too This one's really nice. Little trees on it, and they're little stick trees, so that was cool. And then this is a not quite black background. It's gray, and it has some snowflakes on it, and a neat turquoise stripe on the back. And all the backs, um, the solid parts of the page are all distressed a little. You can tell on this page that the corners are distressed. It's not just a graphic piece of paper. Um, this is fun. You can hole punch the circles out um, to make ephemera and then a great gingham in a teal, a soft teal on the back. And then flags. So it would be fun to cut a strip of those out. And then a great, another uh, snowflakey page on that dark teal. And a soft this is a very soft teal it looks a little gray in this picture but it's actually a soft teal and then another Christmas tree page and then it looked this looks a little reminds me of a a used blackboard that's sort of the impression it gives and then the sticker sheet This is a gingerbread Christmas. So I was going through and counting, I think, how many I was getting. So there's, I think, one more after this. So two Christmas kits, a winter kit. This is really cute with gingerbread houses um, on a black background. We're gonna use this kit probably. Um, my daughter makes my mom a, a, you know, from a kit, a gingerbread house every year, and she uses it in her Christmas decor. Um, and so she asks for it every year. And uh, I'm sure we have pictures of it from from every year since she's been making them. So this will come in handy. So black paper with snowflakes, a candy, a red and white candy stripe, nice cut aparts, fun Christmas trees that you could cut apart, lots of Christmas words, be really fun, and a great holly piece of paper. Gingerbread, and a nice B-side with some Christmas red on it. Oh, this is Christmas candy. And if you remember that ribbon candy, um, that's on there. It just is so nostalgic to me to see that ribbon candy. And some cut-aparts. And stockings. Poinsettias on a white background and a black um buffalo plaid on it but on a diagonal and then great kitchen items with a fun diagonal plaid and then some more cut aparts so and then these are co actually cookies and i have some die cuts that will sort of match that um, that i can use to make my own ephemera so that will be really cute and the sticker sheet. So there's one more. Stop. 
So sorry about that. I, I wasn't sure it was still recording. So I just had to double check on that. So this is the last um, collection kit that I got and it's uh, summertime. Really cute um, blue plaid there. Fun cut aparts with the pineapple theme. This is a like a not really a wood grain, but a like a clappered boarded house um, in painted white with thin stripes. So it's pretty cool for summer layout. This is I would probably cut out, cut apart, or just use the B side for that one because the front was pretty busy. And this looks like it's the same color, but it's not. This is a brighter orange, but I love the polka dots on this side on white. Um, really fun paper. Um, could be great for a birthday, not just summertime. There's some one-piece bathing suits, but I, I kind of like the graphic look of the blue water on the other side. These are some big cut-aparts. Um, some of those things I would maybe cut out to put on the page and not use it as a cut apart. And then for some of the cut aparts, I might make them a little bit smaller and trim them up. Um, otherwise, they take up just so much room on your page. Nice yellow stripe on the back. Here's some more icons and a really nice uh, B side with some pink, peachy um, color on it. These are some three by three cut aparts and a really nice um, plaid on the back. Here's watermelon and citrus. And this was fun, that's watermelon seeds, watermelon with seeds on the back. Really fun and um, fun blue splashy water paper. That's my favorite on that one. And some more cut aparts. And a really nice um, sparse polka dot on white. And then this was really cool. This is big splotches, like you took a paintbrush and splotched it on there um, in the different colors. And then a, very, a really dark blue on the back side. And this is the um, sticker sheet. They really crammed a lot of stickers on this sheet. Um, there's a lot there. So um, titles and banners and border strips. So you guys comment below what you think about um, this uh, mystery box. If you think it was worth the $50, I definitely think it was. And it was fun to get some things that I wouldn't normally get. I do have a couple things that I'll give away, but that's all right. So the last thing I have, I just have a couple of um, die cuts that I got on Amazon, and I just wanted to let, show you guys. I'm gonna put this down so you can see it a little better. So this one I'm pretty pleased with. Um, I think it's connected pretty strongly here, so I think what you do is um, you cut it multiple times. So you cut it and get a frame and then, um, and then this is a piece that goes inside it. Um, and then you also would get the inside frame. So there's really three sections, three layers to it. And then if you want these in multiple colors, then you would just cut in multiple colors. You could piece some paper here and just do it um, fewer times. So I haven't played with it yet, um, but it's the perfect size for um, a card, um, do I have a, well, this is an envelope, so it'll be the perfect size for an A2 card. This one I got at the same time, and I thought it would be the same, but you can see it's much smaller, um, so I'm less happy with this. These were not expensive, um, but I am not as happy with the, the size of this. I, I should have double checked. That's, you know, operator error. Um, I should have checked the size of that. I got this one and these are, I'm not sure who that, this is KS Craft um, and this is a bunny. So I think I'm gonna make this for an Easter card here. 
um, and you get the face and then you get all the little bits and pieces and the feet. So I think that'll be really, really cute. And then I uh, found some word dies and they're words plus shadows. So I went ahead and cut them because sometimes the words are hard to read. And this is Disney related. So, and you get the, the, the words and the associated uh, shadows. So they say fantasy and I cut the black and white paper as polka dots, but fan, I went ahead and cut them in colors I could use on Disney pages. Say cheese, which I thought was cute. Fun at the park and magical. So I'm pretty happy with those and the size of them. Um, and so I'm gonna put these into my Disney stash for when I get to another Disney trip to scrapbook. So that's all. Please comment below, like, and subscribe. Um, I, I will, I don't know, I'm sure I'll have another haul video next month. Um, I'm trying not to spend too much money on all the good stuff, but it's very, very tempting. And I just heard today that Close to My Heart is shutting down, so I'm wondering if they might have sales coming up um, as they shut down, maybe some clearance sales, so we'll see. That's I'm sure that's disappointing for all of those consultants who have built a business um, for them to be shutting down. I feel for them. I went through that um, with creative memories when they went into chapter 11 and that's when I pretty much stopped. They, they stopped producing a lot of their products. Um, and then I just didn't go back when they sort of reformed anyway. So some fun, some fun dies to play with lots of fun, new paper kits from Echo Park and, um, Cartabella all for $50. That was a super bargain. So thanks a lot, um, and we'll see you in the next video.